Hello everyone, welcome to the Engineering Explained channel. In this session, I am going to discuss about the brief description on wind energy. What is meant by wind? What is the wind energy? And what are the conversion methods? And in our country, where we are going to generate the wind energy? And what is its potential? All these things briefly we will discuss in this session. The first we should know that one wind. Wind means what? It is a flow of the air. And the wind flow whatever is there that is due to the cooling and heating of the earth and the water surfaces. And the move, moving air whatever is there it is called as a wind. And wind whatever is there it is having the air movement. As air is moving, it is having the kinetic energy, it. The whatever the energy present in the flow of the air by the virtue of its movement, by the virtue of its velocity, that is called as a wind energy. As the air is flowing, it is having the kinetic energy in it, so that we can harness that kinetic energy and convert that into a mechanical energy. That is the conversion of the wind energy into a mechanical energy. If you connect that mechanical rotary energy whatever available from the windmills and that is uh, to the generator, we can generate the electricity. And here, the whatever the devices or equipments we are going to use to convert the wind energy into electrical energy, those are called as a wind turbines or a windmills. Okay. And uh, these whatever the windmills are there or uh, wind turbines are there, those are classified mainly into a two types. That is the horizontal axis wind turbine HWAT and vertical axis wind turbine VWAT. Here the whatever the working of the wind turbine is there concerned to the horizontal axis wind turbine we will discuss. And vertical axis it is, will be discussed in the later sessions where the different types of the wind turbines are to be discussed. But while they taking the working of the wind turbine or working of the wind mill, it is there commonly will take the horizontal axis wind turbine. That's why I will take here horizontal axis wind turbine for the, its working discussion. Okay, this is the horizontal axis wind turbine. And this what the parts it will consist and how it works we will discuss. There is the first one is the blade, second one is hub, third one is a pitch change. That means this whatever the uh, distance is there that can be varied. That whatever the distance of the blade can be varied. That is a pitch change depending upon the requirement. And fourth one the blades which are mounted on it. And fifth whatever is there it is a nusle which accommodates all the there is gearing system, conversion system, generator, coupling and the turbine. All this it will accumulate. That is the nacelle. And sixth one is the pintle which supports to the nacelle and drive. And seventh one is tower. The tower because here is the wind will always mounted on the certain height on the tower from the ground because if you move in the upward direction from the earth, the wind velocity increases. That's why at a certain height from the ground, it will be mounted on the tower. Then eighth one is the foundation to support for the tower. Ninth one is the control building for the power transmission. And here the two, it will be divided into two parts. Inside whatever the components are, those will be divided into two parts. First one is the transmission, is the electrical is the transmission as we are going to get the mechanical rotary shaft energy and that is the slow rotation it will have the gearing systems are used in order to increase the velocity its velocity and that will be coupled to a turbine and that all the gearing system coupling and the generator whatever is there it is in the transmission side and b is the electrical that is the generator where it, that is a shaft is connected to the generator that will generate the electrical energy. 
then the ion, the ion mechanism is used in order to turn that wind turbine in the wind direction. Then the power present in this wind mill, wind water well is there that can be <coughs> sorry, that can be taken as half rho A V cube. That the rho is the density of the air, A is the area in which the wind is flowing, then V is the velocity of the wind. If we know the velocity of the wind flowing and the area on which the wind is flowing, then density commonly will have then the power present in the wind we can determine. Here in this photo also we can see the different parts. This is the plate, the rotor hub, then inside the brake is provided in order to uh, stop and start the whatever the operation is there. If the gearbox is there in order to vary the speed, the nozzle it will be accommodates all the parts, the anemometer which measures the velocity of the wind and this is the controller okay which controls the whatever the speed is there and this is the generator which generates electricity and this is the yaw drive yaw motor this yaw drive and yaw motor depending upon the direction of the wind this total windmill turns in that direction that is called as a yawing then moving to this wind energy that is basics energy of wind can be economically used for generation of electrical energy wind are caused from from two main factors now why the wind flowing is taking place that factor i told you that one already heating and cooling okay then what is the reason for that heating and cooling here we can discuss heating and cooling of atmosphere which generates convection current currents heating is caused by absorption of solar energy on the earth's surface and in atmosphere the solar energy falling on the earth's surface what is the absorption that will increases the temperature and due to that the density of the air will be changes from the region to region and from the earth surface to the water surface and thereby the wind flow will be taking place. The second reason is the rotation of the earth with respect to the atmosphere and its motion around the sun. Now whatever the earth is there rotation with respect to atmosphere and its motion around the sun what is there that also creates the wind currents. Then how much power is there in the wind? The potential of wind energy as a source of power is large. How much it is? The energy available in the wind or the earth's surface is estimated to be 1.6 into 10 days to 7 megawatt, which is of the same order of magnitude as the present energy consumption on the earth. How much energy we are consuming on the earth, that much power it will be we can produce from the wind. This is the earlier data, basic data that one, but the, during that time the consumption of the energy is same. Okay, then how we can convert this one? What are the different types of the wind turbines or windmills are there? Here it will be given the classification. Many types of windmills have been designed and developed. Many types are designed and developed, but however only few have been found to be practically suitable and useful. Only few are practically suitable and useful and those are using present day for the power generation. Some of these are multiplate type windmill, sail type windmill, propeller type windmill. These are the horizontal axis wind turbines. These first three whatever are there, these are horizontal axis wind turbine. Horizontal axis wind turbine means that is the axis of the shaft is horizontal. The axis of the wind turbine is horizontal. The second type are 7S windmill type, Darius type windmill, these are vertical axis wind turbine. The shaft rotation, rotating shaft axis is vertical. These two types, what are their horizontal axis wind turbine and the vertical axis wind turbines are there? They will separately we'll discuss in separate session. Next we'll take that is what are the major projects are there in our country in India where the wind energy conversion are taking place and what is its capacity and how much those are useful to discuss here. The many projects of the windmill systems for water pumping and for production of a small amount of electrical power have been taken up by various organizers in our country. Following are some of the developments. First one is Kazri Windmill at Jodhpur, Rajasthan, WP2 
water pumping windmill at NEL Bangalore, National Aeronautics Limited Bangalore, MP1 shale windmill at NEL Bangalore, wind mills at Central Salt and Marine Chemical Research Institute, Bhavanagar, Gujarat, 12 PU 500 windmill at NEL Bangalore, Madurai windmill at Madurai, Tamil Nadu, Tayabji windmill at Telonia near Ajmer, Rajasthan, Solapur windmill at Solapur, Maharashtra state. And this 12 PU 500 windmill, whatever is there, that is designed by NAL Bangalore, can pump at a rate of five, about 5 to 6,000 liters of water per hour over a total head of 5 meters for the 5 meters of vertical distance head. Okay, it can lift the 5 to 6,000 liters of water per hour. When the diameter of the whatever the pipeline used is 7.5 meter in diameter. And that diameter of, sorry, not pipeline, diameter of that whatever the wind turbine used is 7.5 meters. These two types of windmills indicate promise for large scale exploitation and commercialization. This 12 PU 500 whatever the windmill is there that will give the, some indication for the promise for large scale exploitation and commercialization of this wind energy. The Department of Non-Conventional Energy Sources DNEs, Government of India has an important landmark in the country's program towards the utilization of renewable energy was the commissioning of four wind farms at Mandavi, Gujarat 1.15 megawatt. Kutikarn Tamil Nadu 550 kilowatt, Woka Gujarat 550 kilowatt, Puri Orissa 550 kilowatt, and Devgar Maharashtra with capacity of 550 megawatt kilowatt. And these are the four whatever the major power sources are planned by the and commissioning by our renewable energy department of new and renewable energy sources. During the seventh plan, nine wind farm projects of aggregate capacity of 10. Point 1 megawatt have so far been commissioned at Oka, Mandvi and Oka Mandi in Gujarat, Kutikarn and Kayatar in Tamil Nadu, Puri in Orissa, Devgad in Maharashtra, Tata Kaveri, Talakaveri in Karnataka and Tirumala in Andhra Pradesh, DNA's report. DNA's reports that one, seventh uh, plan during that time, the different whatever the locations, about the 10.1 megawatt over generation have been commissioned. These are the different whatever the power sources those can be exploited in our state. And with this, uh, the whatever the, what is meant by wind, what is the wind energy present, how, how it will be converted and what are the major sources in our state, in our country, in the different state I have explained. Thank you for watching. If you like comment, share and subscribe this channel. Thank you once again.